Hello there. What's going on, everybody? Today, I want to do some Anakin Skywalker list building ideas for you guys, and I'd love to hear your feedback on these or some other ideas that you guys have, because I was talking about it during the Anakin Skywalker preview, and I figured it would be fun to do. I'm actually going to work through two different uh, approaches to Anakin, one uh, being him teaming up with somebody else and one being him kind of going it solo. Uh, so we're going to take a look at both of those. And I'm going to be using Tabletop Admiral today, so I'll be sure to put links to these so you can check out Tabletop Admiral and put links to these uh, lists down in the description. So uh, I want to start off doing a uh, the one that I think I talked about the most and the initial Anakin Skywalker reveal, which is Anakin and Obi-Wan teaming up together. Uh, I like the idea of running two Jedi together. I think that's going to be super fun, and I think it's uh, really cool to run Anakin and Obi-Wan because, well, they're brothers, right? And let's kind of relive the best of times and have them fighting side by side. So I'm going to put Anakin and Obi-Wan into this list. Uh, that is expensive. It's not it's not cheap to run Anakin and Obi-Wan together, plus we have to put some upgrades on them also. That's going to be half our list right there. That's just the way it is. And, uh, you know, what? that's okay. I don't mind that. I, I don't mind fun lists. Um, I think to really make this do, uh, you know, extremely well, like there's also an option of just padding it out with cheap, cheap activations uh, after this. And that's something you could do. But I'm going to try a few slightly different things and see if we can, if we can make it work. So uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi is on this list for a couple of, of reasons. For one, it's lightsabers, and lightsabers are awesome, and I love lightsabers. Uh, but also, uh, Obi-Wan can help give Anakin hope. Hope that Padme is not going to die. Hope that there's, you know, that uh, that you know the, the, he's doing the right thing and that he's not going to turn to the dark side. And so I'm going to use hope. This is a, an upgrade I have never used since it came out. I just haven't wanted to use it. But I feel like there's a good reason to use it now because a lot of Anakin's problems are going to come from that flaw card that lets you know your opponent stop him from getting in a face-up order token if he's got suppression. So uh, Obi-Wan is going to be inspiring Anakin every turn uh, because Anakin has a lot of stuff that uh, can potentially cause him to get suppression. And we don't want him... Not only do we not want him to miss out on an activation, but we also don't want him getting suppressed and losing an action. We also don't want him panicking, which is another option that can end up happening depending on the, the right list. I mean, if what happens if Anakin goes up against the, the uh, Imperials and they start shooting him with all their suppressive weapons and then play that Krennic command card and, you know, and all of these other things. And, uh, you know, so so we, we certainly don't want that to happen. Obi-Wan is going to help us do that uh, with, with hope. Now, hope isn't, it's cheap. It's not, you know, it's not super flashy, but it is a mitigation. It's a reduction, and I like that. Um, Obi-Wan is also going to run Defensive Stance. Now, I, I don't think Defensive Stance is the greatest card for everybody. It uh, certainly stops you from being able to spend aim tokens, but in this case, I like the idea that Obi-Wan is going to be able to use Guardian for Anakin. He's going to protect Anakin, so he's inspiring him. He's also protecting him. This is the mentor Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, and, I mean, we can always flip it over to offensive stance, but we're going to probably keep it in defensive stance here. I can see Obi-Wan taking a lot of dodge actions here, getting multiple dodges, trying to trigger his Soresu mastery. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's like, hey, you can go for Anakin if you want, but Obi-Wan's going to, gonna, you know, going to gonna, gonna guardian this. And, uh, yeah. And... Oh, if Obi-Wan Guardians it, he can deflect some back at you. Oh, Anakin can also can deflect some back at you. So if you really want to attack Anakin, Obi you're going to take double reflecting damage, right? So, like, that's super cool. So you're more likely to want to attack Obi-Wan, which is m all the more reason why he wants extra aims. So defensive stance is something that we're going to definitely put on. So I, I think that'll be fun. It'll be fun to test that out. Um, I am going to uh, also give Obi-Wan strict orders in case, well, this is also for everybody else, but this is in case that I do get to that point where Anakin has three suppression on him and I'm like, oh, what if I don't want to lose that one action or whatever, or if I'm afraid he's going to end up panicking, I can, I can just guarantee that, you know what, let me just get rid of the one. Right, uh, but this also works for this works for everybody. And what I like about strict orders also is it's one of those commands that Obi Wan doesn't have to be the nominated commander for strict orders to function. So in a dual commander list, it's always kind of tricky. Like which one do I go with? You know, do I go with aggressive tactics when I might not only I'm, they may not be the nominated commander half the time? You know, so uh, strict orders is good for that. Uh, also, Obi Wan is going to run force push 
because force push is just super awesome. Uh, and if I'm running two Jedi that uh, are going to want to be having their mobility, their charge, their jump, all that kind of stuff, uh, then we, you know we don't want to we don't want a single unit of B1 droids kind of kind of screwing everything up. So let's put force push on Obi Wan. Plus he's got uh, Master of the Force, so he can he can be force pushing all the time. Now one of the things I don't have on this build is that free dodge with force reflexes, uh, because Obi Wan's probably going to be taking a dodge token a little bit more often, which is not always going to be the easiest thing. I think ideally. I'll probably do a double move first turn, trying to get into position, and eventually, once I'm in the right position, I can then jump, move, charge, you know, and or maybe dodge first, then jump, charge, you know. Um, so I, I think there's still the possibility for this to be a workable Obi Wan built to support his buddy Anakin. Now, what are we going to give Anakin? Well, Anakin's also going to have Force Push. I love the idea of having two Force Pushes together in the same build. Uh, there's not a whole lot of opportunities to do this just yet. And, uh, I mean, unless you're going to have, like, Vader and Palpatine do it. But Palp, I don't usually give Force Push to Palp. Because um, if I'm that close, I'll just kill you. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so, like, so Palpatine, uh, or rather Anakin's going to run Force Push also. We can really do some fun stuff with this. Um Anakin is going to take force reflexes, though. He is not going to be spending his time doing dodges as much. He is because there's, you're going to see there's some other things that Anakin is going to be doing. Um, Anakin does not have Master of the Force, naturally, right? So Anakin is actually going to be sometimes... <laughs> hear me out. He's going to sometimes recover, clearing out all of his suppression, and also... Uh, resetting all of his cards and to take advantage of that i'm also going to give him offensive push another exhaustible he's got three exhaustibles now that he may use in the same turn so uh you know a recovers very viable for anakin he i don't see him doing it all the time i don't see him doing it more than is necessary but i want him to if he sees that coming like he's got two suppression and like two more guys are going to shoot him hey you know what let's let's use these now because i'm probably going to recover next turn Right. And, and and it's only a matter of time before we start getting somebody that issues orders that lets somebody recover or whatever, you know, like, and that'll be really good for Anakin, too. Um, and yeah, and so Anakin is also going to have tenacity for his fourth and final card there. Uh, tenacity is just going to be nice for him. He doesn't, uh, you know, it gives him that extra extra red die. So 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 that's just a, and it's cheap. It's just, tenacity is just great. I just love it. Just love it, especially with Pierce three. All right. Okay, um, so that's Anakin and Obi-Wan. Now, that is 386 points. That's a lot of points. We're uh, filling up this list pretty quickly. Um, f now, for the rest of our... you know, I I'm going to run a couple of ARC Troopers in this particular build. Um, the uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start off with three clones. Uh, again, this is not a, a super heavy clone list. Uh, it's, it's not... This list isn't about doing the clone ball. This list is about uh, making Anakin and Obi-Wan work, and I'm not focusing as much on the clone ball and, and, and all of their clone mechanics. This is more of a Jedi list, but we are going to uh, obviously still have some clones and some people that can move into battle with them, maybe to support them, or maybe hold objectives. I'll give one of the clones a Z6 because I do love, love, love the Z6, but I'm going to save the rest of my points here for some ARC troopers because ARC troopers are really cool. Um, not loading them up super heavy with gear, uh, but I'm going to give the first one, let me duplicate these, I'll give one of them fives and one echo because, hey, I want fives and echo. Uh, in this list, I want I want some heroes uh, on, on this build, and uh, you know f the the arc troopers are just awesome. Or you know they, I mean, they've got tactical ones, so they can move with Obi Wan and Anakin, right? They can stay there, moving with them, and really do some great things. So I like that. I like that a lot. Um, another thing that's kind of cool about these dudes is that they have training, and we have this new upgrade coming, right? Seize the initiative. Seize the initiative is gonna let you. It's gonna one time. It's going to let you issue an order to yourself. Um, these guys are heavy hitters. Arc Troopers are really strong units, man. If they can get into range two, they're each rolling two dice. Plus, Fives and Echo each have their own nice, fancy dice pools. So, And they're going to have those free aims from Tactical. they got Scout 2. They're going to start with the free aims. They're impervious. They're sharpshooter. They're just, they've got all the things going on. So they're going to be able to move with us. I love them. I love the Arc Troopers. They're really, really cool. So we've got Fives and Echo, and they're each going to take uh, Seize the Initiative. And the reason 
uh, I want to do that also. I mean, plus, I mean, it's a one once per game. They can issue an order to themselves. Well, he, part of what I'd like to be able to do is when Anakin is going, you know, it, it, when, if my opponent plays this flaw card, if they do get Anakin to where, hey, Anakin cannot be issued an order in a time where I want him to be able to go first, this is a mitigation uh, because now all of a sudden I've got two commanders. So I don't have to issue Anakin or Obi-Wan an order, right? I can have both of my ARC troopers issue themselves an order. Hey, that's great. Um, and oh, by the way, Fives has coordinate clone trooper. I can then also then give one of my clones an order. And by that point, maybe even maybe I've even lost clones. Then maybe I play standing orders, right? Uh, have um, Anakin or Obi Wan issue an order to an, my last remaining clone, and now all I've got is two commanders left, right? Or or, or maybe you know, or, uh, you know, or maybe maybe one core or whatever. But I have a very very good chance of being able to pull Anakin and still being able to go first with him from the pile if I wanted to do something like that. So I, I like I feel like that gives me. Uh, sees the initiative, gives me the flexibility to handle that if it hits me at a really bad time, or if I just really want these guys to have orders and be able to go first, I can also just just do that. And it works really well with Fives Coordinate, which is going to be really, really cool. Um, Echo is also just going to be generally good here. He's just he's just awesome. So uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's the the list. We've got, we're up to seven ninety seven, so we got a little bit of uh, a little bit of stuff to work with there. Now, for command cards, I think um, we've got we got some options here because first off, uh, we could easily just go with all of Obi Wan's and all of Anakin's. Uh, Obi Wan's is going to be great. He probably won't be taking the aims here very much. He'll probably be taking a lot of dodges, which is going to be fine. Um, as a matter of fact, you could even consider um, giving him uh, outmaneuver, but you know, I don't know. Um, I don't know about that exactly, but uh, but yeah, I think I think we have. I mean, hello there works really well here, and of course, I, I think you've got to take this as where the fun begins. It does mean you have to go first with Anakin, but no, you don't because you've got Obi Wan right there with hope. You can potentially get rid of that without too much problem. So uh, I like I like that, um, and uh, we've got knowledge and defense is going to be really nice here. I think this one is a very good one for this one because you do want Obi-Wan protecting Anakin and so in case somebody comes in with like a Darth Vader or a Dooku or whatever, uh, Obi-Wan can now Guardian during that melee attack. So that's going to be really good. Um, I'm going to probably take all of Anakin's cards for all of this, at least for these first couple of builds because I want uh, to see how well this will work. We've got you underestimate my power. This is going to give him Master of the Force 1 and Surge the Crit. Surge the Crit is really the big thing here since... Um, I may not be doing that many aims with Anakin. I may be moving and, 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 and cutting things up. So, uh, yeah, Master of the Force 1 will be good for those when I'm like, you know what, I can't, I, I don't want to recover right now. So, yeah, um, so that's still good. Uh, we've got, um, you know, and, and what I'm, what I'm, part of me is like, you know, we, we could take some generic cards too for, the, for those times where, like, if we do lose somebody, you know, we lose three cards. So I, a lot of times I do like taking a couple of generic cards because, you know, there there is a little bit of a, a game there, but but I you know I really like General Kenobi in this build because a lot of times I've struggled with this card because General Kenobi Obi Wan Kenobi tends to be by himself a lot, uh, but I don't think that's going to be the case anymore and this is going to work better in this case. So I like that and of course Anakin's will definitely take that. Uh, Exemplar is going to be great here as well because uh, it means that if An Obi-Wan for whatever reason can't go first or whatever Anakin can or maybe Anakin takes a standby and they're doing you know uh, uh, they're doing their own standby sharing that uh, normally wouldn't be able to be done so that's can be really really fun I think this will be a really fun one to do with Anakin and Obi-Wan love 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 this uh, and that is that basically is that version of the build so now that we've got the you know an Anakin and Obi Wan, I feel like we mitigate Anakin's flaw by having Obi Wan there fighting with him. I feel like we mitigate uh, you know the, the, some of the suppression from him being by himself because he'll have Obi Wan. We have this uh, we, we mitigate him not being able to go first. There's going to be a lot of ways that we can ensure he goes first, and even if not, we've got hope for that. 
And if he doesn't attack, well, we don't have to play that card too early. We can spend our first round or two trying to get in position. We can kind of stay away from a lot of the other guys and not have to worry about the clones as much. And, uh, and yeah, and I think that's, this would be a kind of a fun way to kind of uh, explore Anakin and Obi-Wan's synergy. Uh, and I'll put a link to this list down in the comment section. But now I'm going to clear all of this out. Do we have a clear button on here? I don't think I've got a clear. I'm gonna just, I'll just remove everybody. We'll kind of start over. And uh, I want to do, uh, if you wanted to maybe bring Anakin by himself uh, as a solo commander. So let's talk about that list because this one's going to be a little different. Um, and let me get rid of these. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Um, and, and one of the things I think is really fun about this, and this one he's not going to have, like in, in, this is a build where he's probably going to be generating a little bit more suppression. He's not going to have Obi-Wan next to him all the time. He's not going to have that Inspire 1 to get suppression off of him. So so, uh, so he's, you know, I don't think he'll panic because we're going to do some things to try and uh, limit a lot of those. We're still going to try and attack first. We're still going to try and, I'm going to put Padme in this build. I'm going to still try and do some things. But uh, one of the things that's cool about this kind of build is uh, is that uh, I'm going to try, try and do something cool. So I, I, I thought first, you know what, Padme is a great way to support Anakin in this build, but he's a solo commander, so I can't do my little trick of saying, oh, you know what, I'm going to have two commanders so I can just, you know, issue orders to other people and then pull from the pile. I'm, I'm really likely to get an, an, a, a commander card. Not going to be able to rely on that as much. So uh, I was like, I started looking at command cards, and you know, a really fun one that we got to see is um, what, 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 where is it? Where is it? Well, why is it not here? There it is. Synchronized offense. I thought this was a really cool one that I could still do that with a, with a solo Anakin, right? I'm only going to have, uh, you know, and this was before I put Padman to the list. I was thinking, wait a second, this is a great card. It only is, it's a one pip. It issues one order to one vehicle. But it says, after a, after a friendly vehicle is issued an order, choose a, f a friendly clone trooper at range one to two of it and issue an order to that and issue that an order. And I said, oh, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't say it has to be issued an order from this card. So if I have three ATRTs and three clone troopers, and each of the ATRTs has HQ uplink, I can have them all issue themselves an order, then give three orders out to the clones, and boom, 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 everybody's got an order, you know, and now I can just pull from the pile and go with Anakin first, right? Or something like that. Now, that's not exactly the build that I came up with, but that's the idea that drove this build. So I'm going to put this card in there right away, by the way. Um, Yes, yeah, so we're going to start with synchronized offense as kind of my kind of my driving force, so that I can issue a lot of orders and not have to worry so much about uh, you know oh I pulled a core from the or you know I pulled a you know I got to activate a clone trooper now. So that's one thing that drove this build. So I started looking at vehicles. Um, the other thing that drove this is that Anakin's three pip. This is going to be this is going to be fun. Hero of the Clone Wars gives him exemplar. An exemplar that we can share tokens, right? Um, and Padme's got it also. All right, friendly units at range one to two in the line of sight can spend your green tokens. So now I've got two people who can exemplar. And one of the cool things about exemplar here is that uh, I know I, maybe I'm saying that weird, but uh, is that that can go for vehicles, uh, whereas you know normally you have a harder time doing that. So I said, hey, let's put a tank in this build for fun because this will be really fun so i said let's put a tank here uh now that i can have padme and anakin both potentially take a standby action have the tank fire three times in one round again potentially and uh and wouldn't that be just amazing um, so I, I thought that was a really fun way to uh, potentially approach this list and i said hey since i don't have obi-wan helping me out with hope maybe i put ala secura in here and she's got inspire two and also field commander could work here it could work because what if i do want to play synchronized offensive what if i want to play that while anakin is way far away in the enemy lines now i can still do that whole chain and i can do a, you know issue the orders and all of that um, from the tank which will probably be farther in the back 
right? Or maybe not. I mean, it really depends on how I want to do it. Um, if Anakin is trying to do Exemplar, then it's, he's not going to be too far from the tank. But it, but you never know, you know, things don't ever go the way you want. So I have two plans. If Anakin's far from the tank, then Ayla Secura can use Field Commander sometimes. And if he's close to the tank, him and Padme, who will probably stick together if possible, uh, will be able to do some, uh, you know, some uh, token sharing, which will be really fun. So I, I, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying this. This is, is going to be fun as well. Um, maybe they're probably not going to win worlds or anything like that, but uh, but I think this is a great way to uh, you know two different approaches to to uh, looking at things that Anakin can do. So I wanted to give this uh, Ayla Secura, of course, the beam cannon turret, which is I, I really do like the beam turret. You get a lot of uh, a lot of attacks that way, a lot of suppression also, and uh, and if you do get to attack three times with this thing, that's three beam turret shots potentially also, which is by the way super super cool. Uh, we'll also give it HQ uplink because you know, hey, there we go. We're, we're not going to be able to. I mean, this is all, this card here is only once, right? Um, but uh, yeah, and and maybe we maybe we end up issuing an order to somebody else. Uh, now, I didn't get to do uh, you know three vehicles the way I wanted to because look, I'm already quickly running out of points. I haven't even given Anakin or Padme any upgrades yet, <laughs> but uh, I do put an ATRT into this list as well, and that AT. RT uh, is not going to have HQ uplink. Uh, the idea here being that when it comes time to play synchronized offensive, um, well, I don't won't need HQ uplink on the ATRT because he can just uh, issue the order somewhere. Uh, you know, and, and I could do this. I, I could flip flop this. I could put the HQ uplink on the ATRT instead. Um, you know, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. But I'm going to put the HQ uplink on the tank. And uh, yes, so because if the ATRT dies, I just I can always just issue the order here instead of using HQ uplink and save HQ uplink for next turn. Uh, I'd I'd rather guarantee I can you know use the tank when I need to use the tank because they it's a lot less likely to die. And we'll give it the rotary blaster because that's just a all around good weapon. And uh, so we got the ATRT up there with the rotary blaster. Nice, nice attack there, and uh, he's ready to he's ready to kick some butt. All right, next up, we got to add our core units because we're already at 550, and it's time for core. Um, now I am going to uh, put some clones. I'm going to start off with the first one. I'm I am going to use fives. All right, I do want coordinate, uh, so when we do that uh, synchronized offensive, I can spread it out as much, because again, I'm only going to have two vehicles here, so I want to be able to get as many units, um, the uh, that extra uh, extra order I can, and well, fives is just pretty awesome all around anyway, so we'll definitely put fives in there. Um, okay. Uh, I'm also going to put a phase one unit with a Z6, because that's just a overall strong weapon, and if we do have lots of uh, exemplar token sharing and stuff like that. Uh, Z6s are really nice to be able to uh, react to them. And we're going to have uh, two more generic phase one clones. And that's going to put us well over the 800 points. Wait, that's not, to, it's only one more. I'm sorry, only one more because I still have to, where's the, where do the rest of my points go? Uh, yeah, the rest of my points are on Anakin and Padme's upgrades. That's where they are. So I have only three core in this particular build also. I'm counting on the vehicles to be able to issue all of the core uh, orders when they need it. Now, um, before I get into Padme and Anakin's upgrades in this particular build. I think the the interesting thing here is that even if I get my chain of, of events with synchronized offense on, let's say, the turn that they play Anakin's fall, uh, flaw card, uh, and I still want to be able to pull from the pile and get Anakin, there's that chance I'm going to get an operative and I might get Padme. And I think that that's probably okay because of the fact that Padme can then take a quick thinking and a standby uh, so if they, like, if I was at risk of losing Anakin, like, oh, no, they're going to attack Anakin. Well, she can take that aim, the dodge, and the standby. And so if they do attack Anakin, Anakin can get his dodge. He can then hurt them back and, and also maybe move and relentless and, and attack. And, you know, like, so Padme going first still helps Anakin in that case. Um, and so I like that. But also, if I don't want to do that, I can just use her authoritative and 
well, no, she can't issue him an order if he gets that. So uh, that could be, you know, some, for something else. Uh, so uh, never mind that part. But yeah, but her going first and just getting all the tokens that Anakin can then use is still great. So uh, I like that. I like that quite a bit. Okay. Uh, so for Anakin and Padme's stuff, uh, Padme is just going to have esteemed leader. That's the only upgrade I'm going to put on her. I'm not giving her much else. That's just in case I get unlucky and people start going after her first. I can have some of the, my generic clones uh, try to uh, guardian for her. Um, and so, you know, they, that's still nice. Okay, and plus they're rolling red dice to her white dice, so I'll take theirs. Uh, sure thing. Um, Anakin is going to have a few different things. He's going to have a uh, saber throw. I thought it'd be a fun one to try and do uh, you do him a little differently here. Um, saber throw is going to be really nice with fire support. If I get a, like a Z6 firing into this saber, I'm going to have three red dice plus a whole lot of other dice. And we're going to add pierce three to the entire thing, which is absolutely magnificent. So I'm looking forward to trying that. I think that'll be really fun, especially once Anakin gets relentless and then Surge to crit. Uh, I think that would be completely game breaking <laughs> if, if you know if you if the uh, you know if you're lucky enough. Um, I'm also going to give him Force reflexes because I think that's just an overall very 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 good one for Anakin to be able to get those free dodges, and uh, and he will then also take endurance. Uh, you know he doesn't have as many ways to deal with this suppression that he's going to have in this particular build. He doesn't have Obi Wan with uh, hope with him. Um, he does have Ala Secura if he happens to be close enough to her, but I can't guarantee that that's always going to happen. So endurance is going to help him get more of uh, get rid of more of that suppression, and then we'll still give him tenacity because he's not always going to be throwing his saber. He's also going to be uh, striking people down. So I uh, want to get that six red dice when he does that and that's uh that's gonna bring us back up to 797 uh so that is definitely uh the fun thing now the difference here is i'm not gonna use and and you know if you're doing something like this you can totally change it i'm not gonna use padme's cards uh, i actually want to use a lot more of the generic cards and, and look padme's got good cards that's fine um i don't i don't need secret mission i want her helping anakin here um, I don't want her one pip, even though it's very, very good here. Like, it, this, obviously, Padme's one pip works with Anakin. But this build is based more off of this one pip. And since I can't have three one pips, I've got to have this one trumpet. And I'm definitely not losing. This is where the fun begins. I think this is, you know, my... Um, I think I, I think Anakin absolutely needs Relentless. I really, really, really want Relentless on Anakin. So, so I have to. This one has to get cut. It just it kind of has to. Um, aggressive negotiations is actually not bad. I kind of like aggressive negotiations in this case. And this is the one. If I had to put one of her cards in, it would be this one, because. Um, because of the effect, and it could be Padme and Anakin each getting their orders, and I love that, and that's all cool and everything like that. But I, I want. You know, I want uh, Ala Secura to be able to use Battlefield Commander if I get too far away. And so having uh, generic command cards is really good here. Um, and Padme can still issue these if Anakin does die and maybe I make her commander or something like that. So she can still issue. So having generic uh, generic cards is going to be really good. So we're going to have Push and Assault in there uh, and then Synchronized Defensive and then all of Anakin's cards are going to go into there. And I think that's everything. Yes. We got one, one, two, two. Here of the Clone Wars and Assault. Oh, and Standing Orders. That's why I looked wrong, because I didn't have Standing Orders in there. And yeah, so that is going to be uh, the build of a single Commander Anakin Skywalker with uh, Padme as backup. And Padme wasn't originally part of the idea here. I was going to run like triple TRT or something like that, but I figured, you know what, I've got to also include Padme in today's video and that's uh that's gonna do it all right guys let me know what you guys think if you which one do you like better anakin obi-wan or anakin padme i'd love to hear your thoughts i think it's uh i think it's fun to list build with brand new stuff so i uh, can't wait to see the darth maul preview that we're hopefully getting very very soon um and uh yeah also if you guys are new here i am giving away arc troopers 
I am giving away, a, you know, there's a $25 Amazon gift card given away right now. Uh, all you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. There's a lot of details on the giveaways on uh, crabbock.com, so be sure to you read those details. If you're wanting to learn more information about the channel, click to see more uh, information in the, to get the uh, video description. You're going to see links to my website where you're going to have all the details for the giveaways. You're going to see links to Patreon. You're going to see links to my Discord, as well as my Teespring shop that has some shirts and masks and all kinds of cool things that help support the channel if you're interested in doing that. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, thanks to my patrons for your continued support. You guys are fantastic, and I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much, and as always, have a great day.